Ah, hello there, this is Dr. Kushbu Shah. Um, well, I'm an access consciousness facilitator, talk to the entities facilitator and the founder of Earthlings. Uh, what we wanted to start from today on, from every Monday, is basically just come and sort of share with you a few inspirations from our planet, from nature, from the earth, from animals. Um, because uh, over many, many thousand years, we've kind of lost touch with the earth and with nature. So it's like the human species is different and the rest of the earth and the rest of nature behaves differently. And it's almost like we're moving into different directions. So every Monday, I just wanted to come in and sort of just speak about some inspirations I received from nature and speak about some topic that is actually relevant and going on for a lot of people around and people I speak with and in terms of how the earth could actually give you information about everything you've been asking for if you listened to it. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about today uh, to begin with which is inspirations from the planet is actually, I thought I was going to talk about like this joy and like something else, but what is the most relevant and the things that people are talking around me and what I'm seeing is actually people's choice to leave their body, people's choice of dying. Um, there's been, for a lot of us, uh, there's been a lot of people close to us, people we know that are choosing to leave in the last two years, last few months. For me, even in the last few months, in the last like month and more, there are more and more people choosing to leave their bodies. So, and the way we look at death is, is very interesting. So had I not sort of had this background in access consciousness or really had my inspirations from the earth, I would also be looking as this choice of dying and the choice of death, hi, hi Rashi, hi Rashi, and uh, leaving their bodies is a very like a wrong thing and I, I would be almost angry, sad or wondering why is this happening to me and I get, I get that us grieving that way is something that we've seen that we've learned but just for two seconds and I get it like I know it'll hurt when someone close to you chooses to leave but if you just expand your awareness slightly and just look at how nature treats death or the point of view that animals have about death, the point of view the earth has about death, what is it that we need to start looking at differently so that we have more peace with people choosing to leave their bodies, especially the ones that we're close to? Okay, so look at that. Um, look at how if in a forest, if a tree dies, it's basically food for worms and then there's new life there and there's new things and it feeds something else and there's transformation. And we know this. We know this as part of things that we've read that death is only a transformation. What if it really is? What if we actually started looking as people choosing to die as transformation, as something that is just a different choice now that they wanted to make that they've probably been making and what kindness would you be if you allow them to have that choice and how much easier would that transition be and what can they choose next as their adventures because I've seen and I've seen a lot of people get stuck in the grief and as much as the grieving is a process that would be very helpful but getting stuck in it and then being scared of death or being scared constantly of people close to you dying would probably not be the most kindest way of dealing with this. So what I'm trying to get to is if, if you're someone who has lost someone close to them off late, Just take two minutes and ask, yeah, how would earth, how would nature be with this? What if you actually asked for inspiration? Because it doesn't grieve the way we do. It has a very different point of view. It really knows this is transformation. So right now, 
if you lost someone that was close to you because of whatever reasons tap into them or oh, and what if you honored that choice that they wanted to leave and just flow gratitude to them more because this is how nature in the earth is with death it doesn't get stuck in the choice that something that an animal decided to die or that or a tree just died it actually moves forward it has gratitude and then it transforms and it comes into a whole new life and a whole new being and it's there's still joy in this process and nature doesn't get stuck when something dies nature knows it's part of a bigger cycle and it moves forward from there okay so as much as this and i'm not saying that doesn't mean that you know it doesn't hurt when someone close to you dies recognize that and that's okay and that's fine but also recognize their choice to move on as the earth and and just tap into the planet how does it deal with death flow gratitude to those people who chose to live so that they don't get stuck they can move on they can have greater adventures and thank them for everything that thank them for everything that they were for you in that body just thank them and you can do this energetically even if they're not really physically around energetically it's just a transformation so you can always tap into this and flow and have that conversation with them hey thank you for everything you were and i'm okay i'm happy you made that choice as much as it hurts right now it's fine and allow them to move on with absolute and total gratitude so that they can change and choose something greater as you do that they have more adventures they have greater space to choose something greater for themselves you will have you will not need to be stuck by that loss and you can choose something greater as in for your living and no it's just transformation having said that yes i get the grief and and the pain of losing someone and allow yourself to have that the only thing the earth doesn't do that we tend to do is we get stuck in that uh, grief and we get stuck in the post like the trauma post someone's death all right so what if you didn't get stuck what if you knew this was actually just transformation and what if the earth could show you and nature could show you literally go out and ask like nature like how do you deal with that like what's your point of view about that tap into an animal and ask if it has a point of view about that they use they don't they it's just a transformation so they don't get stuck in the grief they know it's part of a bigger cycle and a transformation what will it take for us to have that so i thought this live is going to be about something else but this is <laughs> about really honoring the choice and flowing gratitude to the people that were close to you that had left their bodies off late all right so if you know anyone or anything in the last few months or a couple of years you can tap into them flow gratitude honor their choice know that it's part of a bigger transformation know that it's not the end it really isn't okay as the earth it always said it's never the end it's always a space of transformation through bigger cycles how much peace would you have how much peace would we have with our bodies if we knew that death was just a transformation what greater choices would you have as your life in living with this body if you knew that death is just a transformation how much more would you live how much more would you enjoy the planet how much more would you enjoy the animals on this planet how much more fun would you have if you knew that death 
is just transformation because that's the earth's point of view it's just transformation one energy to another cool so i hope this helps all right so every monday i'll be coming in and just speaking about some inspirations that i have from planet and something from my own experiences and things that i'm going through where the earth that really give, gives me more information and more consciousness and more space um and i'll share it with you i hope this helps thank you guys this was the first one i thought it was going to be a lighter topic it is that can be a light topic as much as i get the grieving and the hurt is fine just don't get stuck in it what else is possible what greater adventures lie ahead thank you so much bye hi rashi hi ritesh hi dipanti and bye thank you so much see you all next monday i don't know what i'm going to talk about i just know it's going to be inspirations from the earth good night thank you